you could choose only one. Number one. Number two. If you could say which one was a feminist and which one was not. <laughs> no, helpful. wait, hold up, though. Number Let's one say one two. is the feminist. Bullshit. I'd say bullshit. You're a liar. Because she gets attention from men. Yeah. Two is more likely to be a feminist. Right. Like Just by the way little, she looks. Like it's, that it's, little troll Thunberg. Yeah. Yeah. So would you, but, are, but is that really what came to your mind first? It wasn't just absolutely. the visual component yeah, absolutely. of it. it because the first question is be. such a no-brainer, right? Like, let's not bullshit. It's such a no-brainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you get into the, the, the more intelligent question of which one of these are, are going to protest or, or be a feminist. Can I tell you, though, in the comments, the reason I brought this up is because there was comment after comment after comment of people saying, oh, I would pick number two. Of course they would because they know the, the first yeah. one would break their heart. Yeah, number one ain't picking them. That's they for damn sure. They can't, <laughs> right, she's gonna, they can't drive that Ferrari. <laughs> she's going to have Jedediah. a side piece. Is that what yeah. they're worried about? She's going to yeah. have someone slide into I will her DMs. I will say. Oh, no, well, the average man hates that woman because mm. that woman has never given him attention ever in his life. He has tried. Right. Where do you place, though, because I, I, my experience with women is that there are some beautiful women that are just terrible people, profoundly. T they treat men like garbage. So, and, and what, I could, what I get concerned with is sometimes I, and not all, of course, there are beautiful women who treat men w wonderfully. But I'm just saying what I see is sometimes with guys is beautiful women are like, it's like they're hypnotized by them, right? Like a beautiful woman will get away with the most horrific behavior. And uh, guys keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming. Is that, does that go into some of the conversations you have with men where you're like, don't be hypnotized by a pretty face. It's, a, a woman's got to be more than just a pretty face as far as I'm concerned. Two things on that. Number one, that's why abundance, the word abundance is so important. Because they have a thing called one-itis, right? And so if this is your only shot at a woman that beautiful, then, one -itis, you're, you said? Yeah, then you're very likely to choke, right? Kay. Because she's a, your only shot at that kind of beauty. Mm. And then number two, I love to say that pretty ain't a pass. And I mean that. Mm. I, I tell women, especially beautiful women, pretty ain't a pass. And they always laugh and they know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just because you're beautiful, you will not get away with bullshit with me. And for that reason, she has to respect me on a whole nother level because she is experiencing it a lot of times for the first time. When you treat her like a normal woman, when she sees that you're going to treat her like a normal person, and that allows you to actually get close to that girl mm. in a whole different way. Because how is she going to get close to you and, and open up to you and be vulnerable with you when you're placating to her? Right. She can't. She can't it's, do it it's at like all. These guys will treat a beautiful woman like a, like a fan treats a celebrity. That's right. right. And you... and we both know as guys who've you know we've, we occasionally will walk around and people will recognize us and because you have your personality out on the internet right they think they know you right as a person but they really just know what you put out online which is fine but that is a very similar experience that the average beautiful woman lives with where guys come up to her and they treat her like a like a celebrity they don't treat her like a human being mm -hmm. in my experience every gorgeous woman is extremely nice and friendly and lovely but in, in, in these guys' experience, because they're coming up and treating her like a fan, in Got their it. experience, oh, she's rude. Oh, she, she's disrespectful. She didn't give me the time of day. Well, yeah, because you, were, you, you weren't treating her like a goddamn human being to start with. Because human mm -hmm. beings are flawed. And like you said, pretty in a pass. Because pe everyone has flaws. So you don't get an immediate like, green light just because you were blessed with genetics. Yeah. You, what is going to keep me around? If you're if you're very annoying, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna keep you around. Like if you're if you're, you know, uh, uh, irritable and it's just disrespectful of my time and not not worth me spending time around. If you don't, if our values don't right. align, if you're not gonna make a good mother, what is the point of me even engaging with this at this point in my life? It's like, I've had sex before. <laughs> like that's it's not this wondrous magical right. thing like it was when I was a teenager. <laughs> right. You know, it's it doesn't have that pizzazz anymore mm -hmm. that that would make me make that would make me ignore red flags mm -hmm. yeah, that's exactly right i'll tell you that's one thing that we teach from time to time is like listen you if you're in a relationship with a woman and she does something that you're not you're not okay with or is not in line of the framework and she tries to sleep with you roll over on her and go to sleep take that power away from that's her that's brutal by the way it is, that and is it, brutal. but it should be because mm -hmm. she's using that to try to get back in favor with you and you should never be so weak that you fall to sleeping with a woman in order to and, and let that frame get out of hand. I will roll over on your ass. Good night. Now it's very it's very very easy. <laughs> Good night. It's very easy for us to sit here and say this, right? Yeah, yeah. The average guy, the reason he would get one itis 
is because in like the average dude in six months he maybe has one woman who's slightly interested in him right right in not six months swipes, and he might he not might not even yeah. have a chance with her he might ruin blow his chances with her so that's why we we try to tell guys you have to act in abundance and it helps to actually be in abundance it makes it a lot easier to be if you mm -hmm. actually have abundance to to act accordingly but if you act like the kind of guy what well, will we'll adopt these behaviors and these attitudes towards life where sex isn't the be all and end all of everything mm -hmm. then you're going to start getting far better outcomes in your dating life mm -hmm. and that's by becoming that guy that guy that doesn't get a swipe hasn't built himself up mm -hmm. he hasn't built style he hasn't built his body. He yeah. hasn't built class. He hasn't done done any of these things. Doesn't have a friend who's great with a camera. Right, right. And so <laughs> let, me, let me let me put it. This, this is kind of this is kind of off the cuff, but I thought it would be funny to do. It just hit me a minute ago. I want you, Jedediah, to uh -oh. understand. Are you going to show me your DMs or something? Yes, I am. Yes, that's what I. I came am. For. I want you to swipe down all the girls waiting for me to like them back. I'm and, going to do and this. And tell me what these girls are like. Y'all know I have access to something you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's quite a plethora. <laughs> it's quite a... It's quite a group. Those are not ugly women. They're not unattractive. I, will, I can attest to the fact you that most of them are very reload. attractive. It'll most keep of them are them. very... I mean, we'd need like a couple hours just to scroll through this list. I ain't playing. But um, <laughs> yeah, most of these are what I would consider... Like, I, I would say the eight and up crowd... So Eight that's pretty good. Eight and up crowd. And that's under 24. Yeah. So, and let me ask you this, though. Honest, qu honest question, because we talk a lot about, you know, the OnlyFans and all that. But is it a turnoff for you to see women ostentatious on the Instagram, half naked on the Instagram? Does that bug you? Or does it depend on what you plan to do with her in your life? Yep. I'll put you them you in just a answered the question yourself. Yep. You Does put, it though? You put them in a do, do guys really? Because yeah. I said yesterday, I think guys tend to break women out into play and serious. Is that is that accurate? I'd say that's very accurate. I completely agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so if there's a woman that you connect, you take out on a date, you connect with, and you actually say to yourself at the end of that date, "Man, I could take this woman home to mom. Like you really like her." Then you go onto her Instagram and you see half naked all over the place. Is Normally, it, you've seen her Instagram first. Yeah. Okay, let's say you haven't though. Would that be a deal breaker for it's you? It almost never happens that way. I hate to So say you it. do the research first. It's normally how it happens. Hmm. See, look, and that's another funny thing that I'll say about this is me and Sterling openly say these things on the internet, on our platforms, mm -hmm. and you go into our Instagram and it's still full of women. Now, meanwhile, the guy that the guy that hates us and is out here fighting for women, I promise you the Walsh kid, he's not got women in his in his DMs. That's, and that's interesting, too, because if women were so bothered by the content of what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have those messages. That's why I look at what women... Do you find it's more women internationally, though? Is it more American women, or is it... Because that's another theory that's out there. This it doesn't is an American matter. Problem. It doesn't matter the country. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The continent. There's, doesn't matter. There's no country on this planet where Love we have it. not cleaned up. <laughs> 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 there is no country we've gone to because oh, it's all man. the same. It's all primal. If you like the short clip and want to watch another short clip, click here. Or if you want to watch the full episode, click right here.